<laughs> so weird. Welcome back to the DIY show. And welcome anybody that is new here and hasn't been here before. We've got yep. a crazy dog in the background, yeah, so seen, if you hear seen. weird sounds, it's coming from her. We've got a very exciting day today, guys. Yep. We have been waiting for this for ages, haven't we? Our most like, eagerly anticipated DIY project. <laughs> very, so, so excited to do this. To be honest with you, there's actually so much else in this house that needs doing. So much else. So, so much else. More. So much more in this house that needs doing that is definitely probably meant to be more of a priority, but we are panning We decide because priorities. Why would no you not want a panel? Like, it just looks so good. You've put a lot of thought into this. Joe's been grafting away trying to work this thing out to make sure we get it right because we're going to do ours a little bit different. You'll see why later on. If you're new here, we have bought a new build home from yep. Linden and we moved in in September. So last night we went to Wix and we did. grabbed a load of bits. Yep. This morning we've been at the yard. <laughs> We went to Travis um, Perkins. Getting all the wood. And then to McDonald's because what DIY day does not consist of a McDonald's. You've like got to be you don't have time ready. to make food. We got you gotta have a McDonald's. But we're back and we're ready and it's about is it about eleven o'clock now? Think Half so, yeah. eleven. Like and we need to get going. We've got today and tomorrow to do this. First things first. I'm just gonna show you like what we've got just in case anyone else um, is looking to do something like this. We are really lucky that Joe's dad has a van so we managed to put all the wood in there um, and obviously he's got quite a lot of kit so it is gonna be a little bit easier for us to do because we haven't got to like hand saw everything. We've got like this chop saw but loads of people do know other people in trade so it might be that you just ask around and see if you can borrow someone's if you do want to do it with like one of these rather than a hand saw. But in terms of what else we've picked up so obviously all of the wood this is actually for a frame this isn't the stuff we're paneling with but you're gonna see why we're doing a frame later on so we've got loads of wood I think we've got 50 slats all together um, we've also got some cork we've got some wood filler to smoothen it all out and go over the nails where we're nailing the panels in screws for the frame we've got a couple the first of time you've ever like reference screws as screws and not nails is it? Every time you see it, like, wow, I'm getting oh, better. Nails. <laughs> I mean, they do say screws on them, but... Um, and then we've also got some new rollers. Most importantly, we've got a nail gun, which we borrowed off Joe's cousin very kindly. Um, so that's going to make the whole process a little bit quicker as well. And we've got some wood glue here. And then the most important bit in my eyes... <laughs> Is the paint obviously? Um, we've spent a while trying to pick the paint. We were in the yard earlier and it fell out the van and went on the floor. Oh my god, like, why does this happen to us, guys? I don't know if any of you guys remember when we did the cabinet, we dropped a whole thing of wood stain and it cost us like 30 quid and we literally dropped the whole thing. And now we dropped some of this paint out of the van. Um, luckily, it wasn't loads, so only a bit, but it caused the right mess. And I was just like, this is just so us. Like, we just can't seem to get a pot of anything without dropping it. Thought I'd just give you a quick um, bedroom tour before, because obviously it's going to change. We're going to panel on this back wall. That's the idea. We recently got this bed. Some of you guys will know from dusk, um, which we absolutely love. But it's quite light, so we just want to make a bit more of a feature of the wall. So yeah, we're going to pull this bed out in a minute. There's literally nothing else in this room other than a plant at the moment. Um, so it's kind of the start, the start of the bedroom renovation. Are you excited? Yeah. Loving it. Oh, hi, Mills. Right, let's get this bedroom paneling ready in three, two, one. Ta da! First things first, the skirting's Take off. The skirting board off. And Joe's got his off. slips on. You love them slips. Oi! You love them slips, don't you? First step is because we're bringing the wall out like a couple of inches and putting like a false wall almost, you need to put like a frame behind it. So, first step is basically I'm just going to mark out where the, that frame's going to go and then put that on the wall. And we're not doing the whole wall, are we? We're doing like half it's of the wall. It's going to come up to about here. Yeah. Should we, um, should we cut to the frame? Three. So the frame's up. Three, two, two one. one. Ta-da! The, the frame is up. We've done a few little clips to show you kind of what we've done. 
Um, but basically Joe cut all this wood and screwed it to the wall because it's gonna mean that our paneling is sitting in front of it. There's a gap here and you'll find out why, um, hopefully at the end of the video. Job well done, Joe. For the eagle-eyed ones out there, it's not, it's not even, but there's no, there's <laughs> there's no, no need been, for it to be, There's not been real any, any exact science. To be honest, it does look pretty level. It is level, like the yeah. tops of it is level. Anyway, so that is stage one complete. What are we doing now? We need to get the MDF on there. MDF on there. So basically you're going to build a fake wall now in front of the wall that already is with some MDF. So I'm allowed a lunch break. <laughs> Shut up. Now we've got to a point where... You love doing all this. It's not me telling you to do it. Don't let him fool you guys. We got to a point where I was just going to think, I was thought we'd stop and have some lunch because Time. we need some energy. Stop for some scrambled eggs. And then we're going to, we've got the MDF board. So we've gone for nine mil MDF. Me, to you, me, to the you. Get the right, we've got the MDF in. Hopefully, that's going to slot in. Yay! So now we've got our fake wall building. Hopefully. We're just trying to get it exactly level. Right, that's on. the first bit of MDM, MDMF I keep calling it, MDF on. Now we've just got to cut a slice to go along the bottom there and then up the side there. So far it's gone really well. Our neighbours across the road just came and knocked on our door to properly introduce themselves because they've actually been away for two months. They bought us some chocolates. Milk chocolate bites. Oh. Taste of gum. Should we have one? Sure. When should. she said that it was chocolate, I was like, you're my kind of gal. Oh, look at that. Is there like proper chunky? Ooh, milk chocolate ginger flavoured. I love ginger. Hello, Miss Mills. Hello, Miss Mills. Oh, is it for Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm going mental Hi, in this room. Hi, everybody. Yeah. We are. We are actually getting there, aren't we? We are. We're feeling the the filling it now we're just filling it filling, filling all the, like, the screw holes and the joints i've just done this joint which obviously it looks a bit of a dog's dinner now so look at that you're that's off, flat you're so off. once we've once we've painted that sanded down tankers. once we've sanded this down and painted it you're not even going to be able to see the joints can i just say i am quite proud of us today well mainly you but basically our aim for today was to get this on get it filled and get one coat of paint on mm -hmm. and i reckon before we go to bed we'll be able to do that so we'll be exactly on schedule little rhyme that i said i heard do your best cork the rest <laughs> where the hell did you hear that andy's diy discovery dingo andy's diy discovery dingo what is that do I need to do that? A little, uh, little sort of sneak peek of what the surprise element of this whole project is. You should be on a kids TV channel, huh? That was You should go on DIY SOS, you should. You should go on DIY SOS. Oi, I've actually been quite helpful. I might give Nick Knowles a call, he'll, he'll be able to sort you out. <laughs> High five everyone. Mr. Joe. Tucked off in my beard. <laughs> Guys, we're gonna sleep on the sofa tonight because it's way too much effort to sort our room out and then take it all down again tomorrow. What a long day we've had, Mr. Joe. We've got more to do in the morning, so we've got to get up bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, and crack on. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. <laughs> we have just woken up from our so far bed has had a sleepover with us absolutely loved every second of it and in fact she looks like she's going back under <laughs> she is such a funny dog day two in the j and b household j and b household j and b household not gonna lie guys we didn't end up painting this yesterday we ordered some food we sat down and out. ate it and took millie out and then we were just so knackered i mean joe especially i think your shoulder was hurting a little bit as well wasn't I don't it loads of lactic acid in my arms yeah i'm not I'm surprised just like pushing the drill in and yeah lifting there was up. a lot of drilling yesterday um so we just chilled for the night and 
we're gonna start again today. So this morning, Joe's actually already been at it, sanding all of the filler that we put in the MDF last night. And you've just been caulking the edges, haven't you? So, the edges. Uh, so that there kind of isn't any gaps. I guess we're gonna get onto the painting now, are we? Uh, yeah, we've got prime and then paint, yeah. I'm so excited to see how the paint color looks. Um, we tested the thing, we tested the little surprise last night as well and the reason why we made this a second wall for the paneling and we're so happy with it so we are so excited to show you guys also hope that this just gives you a little inspo even if you're not a massive DIYer because neither of us had done any DIY really before until we moved in here like just go for it like go for it there was things yesterday that we were like there's no way this is gonna work wasn't weren't we and it just worked out like you just kind of blag it what's your uh, diy name joe duplessis what duplessis diy what duplessis okay and i'm diy but because my dad always calls me but put it there duplessis <laughs> also guys we wanted to thank you for 4,000 subscribers. We hit it last week, didn't we? We are just so grateful. Like, we're just so happy to have you guys on this journey with us in our new house. And we hope that you're enjoying the videos and that you continue on the journey with us. Um, so yeah, just wanted to thank you so much. If we're a little bit rubbish with uploading, like exactly on time, just bear with us because obviously we both work full time i'm trying to run a business and then edit these videos and do and film them on the weekend it can be a lot and um, so sometimes the timings are a little bit off but i'd much rather the videos be fun and like enjoyable for you guys than just to throw together like a five minute video that hasn't had any thought going to it yeah we're just really happy and excited to have 4,000 of us here. And for anyone new, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to stick around. And also give the video a like because that always really helps. We also are making it a little thing to ask where people are from. Like comment below where you're from. It's just so interesting to see like whether you're really close by to us, whether you're like the other side of the UK or whether you're the other side of the world. Lots of love, let's get on with the wood priming. the same colour as the sheet. <laughs> Literally that colour guys. Those of you that follow us on Instagram, we actually asked between two colours which we should pick. We've actually gone for the darker one and you guys went for the lighter one. Um, and we the actually, only reason yeah. is because when we put the darker one in the light, it literally, it literally like looked like the lighter one, if and that this makes one sense. Gets, this ring gets sun like directly onto yeah, it. Yeah, it gets so. so much sun on that back. Well, we've got it painted. And this I'm so the, happy with the colour. This is the colour. Yeah, I feel like it's a really like calm tone. Yeah. And then Joe actually just said that on the back of the little slip, this is the one that we showed um, the guys on Instagram, it actually says calm on the back. So yeah, it's like, it must be like a calm palette, I don't know. Yeah. That was the colour that we went for, that top one. Um, Maple wood three. That was the colour that you guys went for Soft on Instagram. Maple wood on Instagram, I think that one looked more like that one, if that makes sense. So I think the contrast will be nicer. And we've got a light bed, yeah. so that'll kind of. Yeah, our bed's like a, like a sort of a light grey beige sort colour, of colour. But I feel like when, when it was just white, it looked like grey. It had like grey tones, yeah, but this, this colour seems to like bring out like more brownie tones. Yeah, hopefully. We're really happy though. So, yeah, we're really happy. Everything so what we're doing, so what we basically need to do next is the skirting board. So I took the skirting board off yesterday. You would have seen me take it off. When it was on the back wall, it was sat on the floor boards, but now we've brought it forward. It's going to be sat on the carpet, so it's slightly higher. I've used a, I used a jigsaw just to cut off like half an inch off the bottom all the way along. That will then meet the skirting board that's on these these walls. I guess we'll see you guys when we're panelling because that's the fun part, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I am just outside with the old 
big beefy saw. I basically measured so that if I butt the timber up to this, and make sure it's like, as you can see, like right up to it, then it's the right length. And then all of them, that's fixed onto the bench. That's fixed there, so it's not gonna move. And now, I'm basically just gonna have to work through the stack of timber and uh, you'll be able to probably be able to guess how it's going to end up. This is like the exciting part. We're so happy with it so far. Um, this is a big job, guys. Like, I don't even know how much we've recorded the past couple of days, but what's the time now? It's like half three on a Sunday now, and this is how far we've got, but it's starting, starting to take once shape, we, so. Yeah, once we've got these on. The painting shouldn't take too long, no. should it? But yeah, what do you think, guys? Should we just show them how we're putting each panel on? Just in case you ever are as mental as us and want to give it a go. Um, so we have got a nail gun, which I think I mentioned before. I definitely wouldn't do it without, no, would you? I think you could probably hire them as well. Like, yeah, maybe. Think, or like ask around. You ask know, around, carpenters, yeah. They might have one. I definitely think use. trying to nail those in with that amount of slats would just be, oh my God, it would take days. It's getting a little bit dark in here, annoyingly, but hopefully you can see all right. So each bit of wood we glue first and then we basically use another piece of wood on its side to space it. Of, you don't need loads of glue, I don't think. No. It's just a halt light. Otherwise it ends up seeping out the sides anyway. It's just a halt light. This, this is quite strong glue, it's strong enough. So then we take one of the other slats on its side and match, uh, space it. Yeah, so we're using that as like and a spacer. And then we're basically just going to nail gun three parts down it. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Who um. trusted me with a gun? Hey there, cool cats and kittens. Cool cats and kittens? Yeah. Carol Baskin. We're knackered. Mm -hmm. It's looking pretty cool though. We are picking ourselves up, dusting ourselves off. And we're going to pin some of these <laughs> pine... <laughs> pieces to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. It's literally Sunday night. Yeah. And we've not even painted We just it said yet. we just said earlier we were like, what are we gonna do for dinner? It's gonna have to be a takeaway, isn't it? Again. What do you we've fancy? Had three the whole weekend. Fancy curry me. No. Curry. Oh lovely a bit of curry. Oh no, I just want a chicken wrap. <laughs> you can't have a chicken wrap again, you freak. <laughs> Right, come on. We've got to get this painted. Woo! Get in there. Just don't have to worry about lines. <laughs> just, we're just, we're just gonna, basically, we're gonna, it's eight o'clock now. So we're gonna Freaks. smash out like 45 minutes of painting and then we're gonna let it dry. So tomorrow we'll have the finish reveal. Finish painting. And we are going to call it a night. And it's another night uh, on the sofa, isn't it? <laughs> we're both getting hot. Please don't record me right now. We're both getting tired and grouchy. I've got a big spot that has decided that it wants to be in the video. Good morning! We have complete the DIY project. I can't believe that we've managed to do it in one weekend. It was like a bit touch and go. At some points I was like, there's no way we're gonna finish this. I'm gonna show you this morning what it looks like so far. It does look so much better already. <laughs> I'm gonna show you it this morning and then we're gonna show you this evening as well because we've got a little yeah, finishing touch to do. Um, but yeah. Ta -da. <laughs> Miss Mills is already, Mills is already taking up her seat. This is the grand reveal. What are you doing in there? She wants to play. All finished. 
What do you guys think to the colour? Let us know. Uh, sometimes colour on camera does look a bit different um, than in person, but it's kind of like a, it's actually quite a woody colour, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it, that's what I sort of wanted to go for, is like sort of a woody tone. Yeah, because really happy. I what do we think, guys? I feel like it's made the room, because the room was just like such a box room, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like this morning. And then we'll show you again later and we've got a little surprise for you. What are you doing, silly dog? <laughs> She's at this money playroom now. Right guys, it's the evening now and we're gonna show you what we've done featuring my broken nail. <laughs> Don't do DIY with long nails. So that's in the dark. The creepy guy standing <laughs> You look <in> the <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> Give us a little tour. One of the surprises is Alexa, turn on the showstopper. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe you called it the showstopper. That looks blue in the camera, but it's actually common white. And I'm guessing you can change the colours of it as well, yeah. right? Alexa, turn the showstopper red. Oh my god, look at that. Now probably all makes sense as to why we built a separate wall. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this is giving me hotel vibes with those lights. Hotel um, vibes. So it's definitely worth it. But there is another little surprise, isn't there? There is. Yeah, this is a surprise and surprise as well. And this is something that Joe's been planning out the whole time. It will make sense why we left the gap down the middle as well, because basically... This is just a makeshift shelf, so don't don't judge the shelf by its cover. Basically this slots in here, like that, and then three, two, one. Ta -da! <laughs> oh my god, it looks sick, Joe. Such a good idea. So basically built a little shelf so that we can have our projector for movie nights on this wall. How cool is that? Perfect. Literally perfect. Plug your laptop into that, stick on a bit of Netflix. So cool, we're gonna watch a movie in bed now, aren't we, I think? Yeah. So that's our surprise, basically, guys. End of the video, that's the end of our real. long slog of DIY. <laughs> I hope that you've enjoyed this video, guys, and I hope you loved the cinema room yeah. as much as we did. I hope did. you learned a little bit as well, of like what you can do when you put your mind to it. Yeah, definitely, 100%. Anything worth having, don't come easy. That's true. That's, That's the moral true. of the story. It wasn't easy, but it does look cool. But one thing we do is appreciate you watching up until this point. Give it a like. Give it a subscribe. Give us a comment. Let us know where you're watching from. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. <laughs>